Let's see. Chat, if you could tell me whether you can hear me. And let's get a measurement on the delay. I'm going to type hello chat and you tell me how many seconds. I'm sending it now. Well, I see the video is working. Yes, sir. I did call it and I'm going to keep calling it. <clears throat> Let's make sure I can, yep, you guys can hear me. Cool. How's it going, chat? We got, uh, how many people in here now? 63? 63 is not enough. We need more people. Everyone bust out the retweets and whatnot. Because I'd, uh, you know, prefer an audience to say this stuff once and then get back to watching the cool market. <clears throat> you know, someone's got to spread the good word and set the frames and try and promote the right narratives. And uh, could be you, could be me. You know, everyone out there is looking for guidance and no one really knows what's going on as well as we do. So we might as well be the ones that guide all right, chat. So, well, I'm going to check on Twitter, make sure I did tweet. And if I did, I'll just start talking good stuff about the good Bitcoin. All right. So, Wall Street is used to making all the money. They have the best information, the best research, the best networks, the smartest people that they met at the most expensive colleges. And they usually get to things before normal humans, before nerds, before normal business people. They get there first. They pay for that privilege and they work hard for it. So they kind of earned it. Bitcoin is one of the only times that I can think of that you can get in before Wall Street does. Right now, there's a regulatory arbitrage available. People that have funds and partnership agreements can only invest in a certain class of assets. And that stops them from investing in their brother Joe's restaurant down the street, and it prevents some conflicts of interest. However, it also has side effects. And one of those side effects is that certain things that are regulated against or not regulated for are artificially cheap. And Bitcoin is one of those things. Bitcoin has had uh, in its beginning problems onboarding because banks didn't want to work with Bitcoin companies until there was regulatory certainty. And the New York license from uh, Ben Lasky when he was in charge of the financial uh, regulative authority in New York allowed banks such as, uh, well, I won't name the banks, but <clears throat> allowed larger banks <clears throat> to work with companies like Coinbase and allow millions and millions and millions of people to buy Bitcoin. But that same uh, regulatory breakthrough didn't help some fund managers that would like to invest fund money into Bitcoin, but uh, can't. So for instance, and this isn't a perfect example, but I'll give you a small example. The, uh, <clears throat> the request to create a Bitcoin ETF was denied because the underlying things that the ETF would be uh, trading didn't exist yet because there was no futures contracts. Now that futures contracts are happening through LedgerX.com, a CBOE, Chicago Board of Exchange, CFTC, uh, Futures Trading Commission, now that they are approved and going live very soon, I hope very soon, um, you know, I heard it would be this week. We'll see. Uh, as soon as those goes, go live now, when you want to file your ETF paperwork, the SEC can't say, oh, well, you know, we're, we're requesting that this be denied because there's no underlyings. Well, now the underlyings are there. So you're going to have futures contracts that larger entities, five to $10 million minimums, can uh, can buy with no counterparty risk or very, very, very little counterparty risk. It's a licensed and insured uh, counterparty that they are interacting with. 
you know, backed up by the full faith of the, the, the entity that's been doing this for a hundred years, you know, um, the, the futures trading commission has dealt with the delivery of commodities for a very long time. And they're probably very good at it. <clears throat> One of the great things about ledger X is that they don't have uh, naked shorts. So if you want to short something, those uh, coins that you want to short have to actually exist. And you have to actually borrow them. You can't borrow, you can't borrow fake coins to try and drive the price down like uh, has happened in so many other markets where, you know, you can short 2000 of a thing, but only 1000 of the thing exists in the real world. It's a perturbation. <clears throat> and if you want to uh, look into somebody that's fought against naked shorts for a long time, the gentleman that uh, was founder and CEO, and I think still is CEO of Overstock, he has been fighting the fight against uh, the DTCC with just a share delivery, right? With, you know, no one really receives their shares. They just get an IOU from a company that says, we've got your shares. That's a risk, right? Uh, and he also has been fighting the battle against naked shorts. So it's great that when Ledger X comes on, they're really only bringing new money. They're not bringing uh, the ability to dump the price or short or anything. It's just a wall of cash. Then that wall of cash and uh, derivative allows ETFs to come on board. And then people could buy this stuff at their, their brokerage. Like you log into your brokerage, you log into your bank, you see options for buying things. One of those options will be Bitcoin. So the chance to buy Bitcoin today under five digits, which is 10,000, uh, before Wall Street can get in, before the hedge funds can get in, is just one of the best opportunities of a lifetime. And uh, I'm unaware of any other place where there's been this regulatory uh, uncertainty that would allow such an opportunity. And as you've seen, you know, the United States and New York protected the right of uh, Bitcoin companies to do commerce. And it was a positive, super positive thing, and it's made everything better. And now we're going to see that same type of uh, positive regulation happen in other countries. So the Russia ban on ban, ban on ban, ban on ban comedy show has no effect. Now they figure out, well, we can't really ban it. Let's, let's just run with it, right? And who would want to hide more money than an oligarchical society that has a, a giant wealth disparity between the people that are in power and the people who aren't? I mean, there's no one that wants to evade sanctions and, and have banking secrecy and privacy more than a Russian oligarch, right? <clears throat> so, you know, anytime you see one of these government authorities pretend to ban and then quickly unban after, you know that there's some insiders making money on that deal. You know it. Uh, it's funny to watch. I don't know if funny is the right word, but it's interesting that something could be banned and unbanned 20 times. And, it, you know, the market's like, huh? It's hilarious. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the price broke through uh, an, an irrational uh, shelling point. So basically the shelling point is if you and your friend both got lost and didn't have phones and you're in New York City and someone were to say, okay, well, you're lost the same that your friend's lost, you know, where might you be able to meet? Everyone just chooses Grand Central Station at noon. And so your estimate of what other people will choose and their estimate of what you, they think you'll choose uh, ends up in a shelling point. And the $5,000 price point was a shelling point for Bitcoin. And now uh, that's gone. That's the bottom now. So the resistance becomes support. And it's it's so beautiful. I mean, the fact that we got this price to go past that silly mental block before Wall Street could get in means those guys don't get cheap coins. Those guys get more reasonably priced coins, you know, a more fairly priced coin as they should for being so late, right? Now, uh, <laughs> once those guys get in, once the Wall Street guys get in, they're going to get to enjoy the giant pump up until the ETFs come on. And then the ETFs are going to get to enjoy the giant pump until the giant craziest bubble the world has ever seen gets created. Now, here's my math on that. Bitcoin is a very easily appreciable asset because it has no friction. It's purely digital and it's distributed and there's no uh, expensive onboarding process. If someone wants to get in, they can get in with barely any friction and uh, the price goes up. Now take that, take that very frothy, easy for price to move up thing and multiply that by the insane free money printing of the stock people. And so now we've got the equities markets in America that blew up a bubble in housing, that blew up a bubble in education, that blow up bubbles at anything they set their eyes on. And we take that equity, that liquidity, and we multiply it by the best investment asset the world has ever seen, Bitcoin.
and we square them times each other. And the price, the price goes so, so very far into the sky that when Bitcoin reaches the moon, it becomes the moon. And it becomes the thing that is the target that other people wish to reach, right? So we have that opportunity now. We have that opportunity to get in before Wall Street. Wall Street has the opportunity to get in before the ETFs and the general dumb money. I don't like to call people dumb money. Uh, I would just call it late money or slow money. This stuff's so complicated that, you know, few people understand all of it, but that's fine. You know, few people understand fuel injection. Cars run fine. Few people understand, uh, you know, electron microscopy. CPU processors work fine, right? So, yeah, I'm excited to see the price uh, go where it needs to go. I see this as a great opportunity. Um, I'm very, very happy. I'm very pleased. Now I'm going to look at the chat and see if you guys have anything interesting to say. I'm sure you do. I'm going to go up to the top here. And the reason I'm going to the top is to reward people that showed up early, right? I'm not going to pay attention to the late guys first. I'm going to pay attention to the early guys first, just like the Bitcoin price. You could have went all in at 3000 2000 1000 4000 5000 You could have went all in at any of these points. Seems like a good deal, right? If you, if you think Bitcoin's going to go up the same way that I think Bitcoin's going to go up, go to my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Richard Hart win. Richard Hart, spelled like the one on your chest, win, W-I-N, because the other one was taken. So I had to come up with three letters. I chose win. And uh, there's a link at the top there for a discount. And if you want to just place a single long trade, a single long trade, don't trade, you'll lose. But a single long trade, if the price moves up, it multiplies your advantage. If the price moves down, it multiplies your loss. If you look at the graph, it seems like it goes up a lot more than it goes down. So maybe that's a good idea for you. Do your own research, look into it. I'm not an investment advisor, but it, uh, it seems to be working quite well. All right, chat. Purple Branson, it's me. Purple Branson, how's it going? It's a funny name. Love the tribute to Prince. That dude was very accomplished. Very accomplished. You wouldn't want to play in basketball, right? Unless you like pancakes. Those inside jokes. Looking good, Richard. You called it. Thank you. How long has this smartass M-O-F-O been on? Not long, I don't think. What a funny name. Cody. Do you already go pee? Yes, I went pee. Thank goodness. I don't plan it like, I don't know. I think you guys are going to run out of questions. You're going to be busy popping champagne. I don't think I'm going to have to be here that long, but if I get good questions, I'm going to answer them. The altcoins, yeah. The altcoins used to move up more when Bitcoin moved up. Now they move opposite. So when Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins go down. And when side chains and drive chains come on and all those little altcoin, little marketing proposals, little uh, demographic market segmentations, appeals to certain types of people, whoop, right into Bitcoin. We share a giant liquidity pool together. We all swim and sink together, not separate, right? And so now those devs can improve the Bitcoin protocol that is where their lifeblood comes from, right? So all of the, the vast majority of all coins should become side chains and drive chains to the single liquidity pool of Bitcoin. It's gonna be better for everybody except the pump and dumpers. It's gonna be worse for them, but that's fine. Scrolling. Bitcoin party day. Yeah, like, I, to tell you the truth, like, it feels good, but Wall Street's not here yet. And that's going to feel real good. So until Wall Street's here, I'm just happy to, to see the price keep moving up, and then they can pay a fair price when they get in, you know? They don't have to, they're still getting in before the ETF, so that's fine. But they don't have to get in before us. They don't have to get in before the holders from 2011. They don't have to get in before the people that have been reading about this and learning about it and mining it and experimenting with it for years that are you know, following me on Twitter, sitting in the Discord, sitting in the Telegram channel, spending all day, every day, watching, learning, inventing, strategizing. There's a lot of smart people in my chats coming up with cool ideas all the time. Those guys deserve to win. They got there first. So I'm happy to see the right people get rewarded. Very happy. And to tell you, all these people, when they get money, they're more likely to do good stuff with it. You know, these are, these are intelligent people, early adopters, and uh, 
we can expect more cool stuff out of them than if it were some other class of people getting in first. Richard got special outfit for $5,300 Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have bees? Uh, no, I don't have any bees. They seem very cool though. I know Russell Brand has a, a bee collection, but he's afraid to take their honey because they work so hard for it. Silently celebrating? Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. I've been holding so long and seeing things go up and down so long that like, I, and maybe I'm just fatigued from being awake 30 something hours yesterday. You know, uh, it's crazy. I thought it was cool that Market Watch like quoted my tweet, you know? <laughs> I like that, right? If you've been trying to say the right things for a long time and the things that you say are right, it's nice to see people recognize it, you know, so that a more a more likely to be correct voice gets spread instead of more likely to be incorrect, like Jamie Demon. No candles? Yeah, yeah, I could have went candles. That's all right. This crystal stuff looks cool with the lights on too. If I would go with the candles, I can't have that on because that's too bright. It's pretty neat to have a setup that it can even do one single candle light. That's a, um, the hardware's so cool. I love having like a night vision camera webcam. <laughs> you know, it, if you're gonna buy stuff, I love to buy stuff that has lasting value. And I won't say that electronics has lasting value, however, you reach these points where stuff gets so good and then it doesn't get better for 10 years, right? So speakers are kind of there. You know, the speakers of today aren't that much better than the speakers of 10 years ago. It's diminishing returns. And if you have a camera that does 1 million ISO, what do you need? You need to be able to light your scene with less than a candle of light. I mean, it's so good. I'm very, very happy with it. And if it had a higher frame rate, it would look stupider. Like higher frame rates look unnatural. So. Happy BTC day, nice. Taxation is theft, okay. Hey guys, uh, remember everyone that told you to short at uh, 4,900? <laughs> hey guys, remember everyone that told you to buy Ethereum? <laughs> and uh, altcoin one and altcoin two. Oh, I love being right. I love being right, it's so nice. So very nice. Love the shirt. Didn't buy more last night and knew this would happen. <laughs> I'm happy with that, what I have though. Yeah, if you, focus on, if you focus on the past, you'll always be infinitely sad because a Coca-Cola you bought in 2011 was really a million dollar Coke or a $50,000 Coca-Cola or whatever, some large multiple. So you must always focus on, on what you have, not what you don't have. It's the key to wealth. You know, um, a lot of people wake up unhappy and it doesn't matter how well they do, they're still unhappy because they're focused on how well they didn't do, right? So that framing control, it's, it's super duper important, you know? Like a, a positive frame would be, we're going to the moon or we're getting cheap coins. You're happy either way. A bad frame would be, look how much I didn't buy, you know, I should have sold. And they're both like, they're all accurate, right? It's just one leaves you sad all the time and one leaves you happy all the time. The happy has a lot of value, you know, if, if, if financial, if emotional excellence, if you don't pay attention to your emotions, you could get lucky and they work out and everything's fine. Uh, or, you know, you could get unlucky and you just kind of waste your life away, meh. And I, you know, that would be a tragedy. So you should definitely cycle through bouts of great joy. And, you know, every emotion is built to perform well in a certain time. So you're supposed to cycle through them. So it's like walking upstairs. You're not supposed to just use right leg only. You go right, left, right, left, right, left. You oscillate, you know? You sharpen your tool, you use your tool. You sharpen your tool, you use your tool. You buy Bitcoin, you buy Bitcoin. You buy Bitcoin, you buy Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, let's keep on. Can you please explain why we need Bitcoin in a cashless society? Well, how do you think it got cashless, bro? I mean, so the problem with money, if your government has control over who you can send money to, they have control over you, an unfair control, and a control that at some point will be abused. If, however, you can speak anonymously and transact anonymously, 
then you can have more of your human rights. And censorship is restrictive and it stops humans from telling the truth. And if you like the truth and you want to hear the truth and you want to see the world make better decisions, you must have the freedom to associate and you must have the freedom to transact. Now everyone can say, oh, exception A and exception B. Those are exceptions, okay? There's always gonna be exceptions. Don't waste your time finding them. We know the exceptions, okay? By and large, uh, the ability for a, trans a human to transact anonymously with another human is extremely important. And if anyone's gonna make an argument to tax avoidance or, you know, it, it, you can't, if you profit from not paying taxes, it's very easy to detect because they look at the stuff that you've got and they're like, ah, oh, well, you shouldn't have that stuff. So it's, it's not an issue. I mean, we already have offshore banking for what, forever, right? Wanted to drop 2K on more last night. Stupid to do it now or wait for the dip. I would do it now. I would definitely do it now. You know, Wall Street's not in, ETFs aren't in. Uh, and when they do get in, soon. You think the price is gonna be low? No, no sir. You gotta get in now, that's my opinion. And I've been right pretty constantly, so. I would say get in now. Richard Hart and Max Kaiser someday? Sure, yeah, Max is cool, he's smart, he's creative, he's funny, he's crazy. It'd be a lot of fun, I think. I mean, look, I don't even know what I'm wearing. What is this? Velvet and uh, silk? Fake silk? I don't know, man, rayon? It's crazy. Uh, please smash that like button, okay. Is there a like button on these? In the live stream? Yeah, there is. You seem like someone has put you on a stream without you knowing, Rich. Nah, I know I'm here. I just, look, I want to be looking at the markets. I want to be spreading narrative. I want to be helping people do the right things. And, you know, right now in this stream, I think we've got, uh, let me see how many people are watching right now. Where's the link? Here's the link. Right now in here, we've got... 400 people. That's pretty cool. I guess 400 people is pretty cool. You know, but I've got, what, 8,000 Twitter followers. So that's, you know, 20 times as many people as I could reach with, I don't know, 400 live viewers versus 8,000 followers. And then what, maybe 50, I'd have to look up the statistics on it. Maybe the stream is better than, uh, than the tweets because it's evergreen content. I'll have enough time to tweet tonight. So this is good. I told you guys I'd do this at 5,100. I couldn't do it earlier because of the being awake for 30 hours thing. So this is pretty close to as soon as I could do it. And I, I gave a heads up that I would be postponing when I was up for like 24 hours. So it wasn't like I sold out with no warning. I think everyone's uh, pretty happy with it. Richard, no. Any idea when Ledger X is supposed to start trading? I heard this week and it's still this week. So I hope it's the case, you know, it's soon, right? Like those guys, it's close, it's soon. <sighs> Thank you for your insights, Richard. I know you don't make anything doing this. Yeah, I don't have ads and I don't have anything to sell you and you couldn't send me money if you wanted to. So there's no way for you to give me money and there's no way for you to watch ads. You know, that won't always be the case. I do have a token that I'm building, a computational fluid dynamics supercomputing network my partner's a rocket scientist and the software's already done the, the hardest part, the physics stuff and the middleware between a lot of open source packages, GUI, mining, uh, smart contract accounting, you know, that middleware is what we have to build. But most of the components are built, which is just awesome and lovely. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool to take all of this hashing power that's currently wasted, uh, not totally wasted, but to a large degree wasted. Uh, because the attacks don't come from that vector. Like a social attack is 10 times cheaper than a hash attack. So we're oversecured on the hash side, like by a lot. It, it's gonna be so nice to be able to retask so many GPUs and so many CPUs to doing things that make the world a better place. Like those SpaceX rockets, like the SpaceX rocket that last, the SpaceX rocket that launched last night and landed last night, that uh, rocket could not have been made without computational fluid dynamics modeling of the fuel injector, the cone, the control surfaces, everything. So the only reason we're able 
to do the really super, super cool things that we're doing is because of CFD. If you didn't have the computer models to do that, and this CFD was built to do rocket fuel combustion modeling. That's what it was designed for in the beginning. So it's so cool. You get to do real science with supercomputers instead of fake busy work. It's so cool. I'm very, very excited about that project. Um, if price could chill out for a couple minutes, you know, I could uh, make the tokenization PDF. Right now we've just got the Cortec PDF because of these, uh, these price movements. I just can't stop looking at the chart and tweeting. All right. Uh, man, people are chatting so much. I actually can't even scroll to the top now. It's like lost. So lucky I stumbled upon this guy. Smash that like button. Share this out there. Thanks. Bojan Najdov. It's a hard name for me. Richard's a king. Love the purple. Fits him. Thank you. Richard the lionhearted. Yay. Get in, get at, get in, get in now. Large and long. Yup. Richard been partying hard. Voice suffered. Maybe. It wasn't from partying. It's from working. I haven't uh, gone out in a very long time. Uh, thanks, Richard. Always very clear in the explanations. Thank you, sir. That's from Liberty Production. What would you tell a young man with one million in Bitcoin but looking for a new lease on life without working in a depressing job? Uh, new lease on life. Without working a depressing job. Well, I, you know, if, if you're young and you can continue to work, then I think being all in in Bitcoin is okay. If you aren't able to work and sustain yourself, if, you know, an EMP happens or something, which, you know, if there's a nuclear war, we're really like, I mean, in theory, I, I think like an ultra, ultra conservative thing would be to pull out, I don't know. 200k put it in berkshire hathaway or the s p 500 make 10 to 20 percent a year on it that'll give you like 40 grand minimum you can survive anything so you could cash out 200k and put it in uh, the s p 500 and have like a guaranteed 40k every year like return as long as you're able to not spend your principal so i mean that would be like super ultra conservative it's not like it's not something i would do i'd stay all in but you know if bitcoin goes to zero i could just work you know like they've got other money anyway. So I'm okay. I like being all in. I think all in's great. And it's the best time in the history of man to be all in right before Wall Street. Oh my God, so good. It's so good. <laughs> That's for all you ASMR people out there. ASMR is funny. You can Google it. Preach it, Rich. Yes, sir. I'm on it. I'm sweating to death. It's hot in here. Should have went with the candles. Price prediction, 20,003 cents in uh, Christmas. That's my price prediction. You heard it here first. Christmas, 20,003 cents. Bitcoin. I said three funny there. Terrible. What do you think of the, uh, no. You're odd, but you're one of the most interesting, intelligent people in the crypto economy. Thank you, I think. Your compliment is one of the most interesting I've got in the last couple of minutes. What's up, Richard? Chilling, man, chilling. Thanks for the upvotes, bud. I see you're always making good, good comments, good upvotes. Mr. Crypto Kerbit. I like your logo too, looks cool. Wow, we were polite, waiting that you finish your talks, and we are called the late guys. <laughs> Don't worry, man. You're still early. Any view on Ethereum price? Yeah, down. Their, their only use case is being banned everywhere. They no longer rise with Bitcoin. They move inverted to it. The Google searches are gone down to like nothing or like 8x less than Bitcoin searches. Their security model is the worst. They're getting hacked all the time and it's unrepairable. 
There are multiple implementations by multiple teams not used as a quorum, but as competition is the stupidest consensus model I've ever seen. Ethereum's screwed. Uh, it's, it's screwed since I've been chanting about it being screwed six months ago. I, Richard, I love Bitcoin, but all in. You don't have a choice but to be all in. If you don't want to be all in in Bitcoin, you've got to sell it all the time because it keeps going up in value so much. If you went in 10% on Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes up three or four fold, now you're 40% in Bitcoin because your other investments didn't go up three or four fold. So like, no matter how small you get in Bitcoin, you're going to end up all in unless you dump it constantly because it appreciates so fast. So being all in in Bitcoin is really, really simple. You could just go in 10% and wait a little while, or you could go in early and have 10 times the gains. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Question. I'm kind of new, but sound incredible because many people will got too rich and just can't believe that Wall Street will allow that. Well, yeah, this stuff happens all the time. It just usually happens to people that aren't you, right? You know, there's people that were born and there's oil under them. There's people that were born and there's gold under them. There's people, you know, that actually win the lottery. Like this stuff happens. It just usually doesn't happen to you. And so you have the opportunity for this to happen to you now because you were here slightly earlier than the next guy. And that's the way capitalism works, you know? You don't, get, you don't even get rich in Bitcoin by how early you got in. You get rich by how long you held. Because the people that got in at 1 and sold at 30 thought they were geniuses. But were they? The people that got in at 100 and sold at 1,000 thought they were geniuses. But were they? So it's not, it's not how early you get in. It's how long you hold. Uh, this is a revolutionary, world-changing technology. And it's being adopted uh, you know, in an S-curve. And we're not even at the vertical part of the S-curve yet. So whew, it's just going to be amazing, as you can see. No, the coin's not going to 4,000. China already banned. Russia already banned. There's nothing left. You'd need a real legit nuclear war. And at that point, you, you know, they're probably not going to care about uh, the price of anything except food and shelter. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think we're good. Man, I'm not making progress on these questions as quick as you guys are asking them. <laughs> I'm going to have to like scan through quicker. Hello, son of meatloaf. How are you? I like to listen to you. I think you're great. Thank you, sir. Uh, Coinbase does not allow more than $2,500 purchase for me right now. I want to go all in. Is there another way to get 10,000 more? Well, you could buy it over the counter. You could, uh, you could Google, you know, buy Bitcoin OTC. You could buy it from other people off of local Bitcoins. You could take what you have, put it on an exchange. There's a link on my Twitter and then take margin. Uh, those are all options if you wanted more exposure. You could sell your personal items for Bitcoin. You could sell your car, your house, whatever. That's up to you. You know, if you tell someone to sell their house, I am not a investment advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I have no such license. I'm, I'm just, I was a licensed mortgage broker until, you know, I let the license expire. Do your own research, but you know, you ask the question, I answered the question. What would it take for an altcoin to knock Bitcoin off the top of the hill? Can't happen. There's not enough cryptographers that can learn quick enough to keep up with the cryptographers that I've already learned a couple years on Bitcoin. So they're not going to be able to overcome that advantage. Bitcoin's always going to have a brain technical advantage and an adoption advantage. It's, it, you're, not, you're not going to outcompete it. It's just too hard. Richard Hart equals winning. Thank you, Carson Wentz. I agree. What happens to the price when Wall Street joins the party? Double up? Sure. Sounds good to me. I, I'm saying 20K in two months. So... We got to get a lot, you know, what is that? A couple doubles, two doubles. So we need two doubles in two months. So yeah, I, 
That sounds good to me. What are your opinion on services like yours and Steemit? Eh, maybe one day they'll be good. You know, right now they're not. They just, it's, it's, you'd have to, any social network that re relies on social, normal people generating content, it's very hard to get the pump primed because no one wants to waste time creating content when there's no viewers and nobody wants to view things without content. So you have to like prime both sides of that pump somehow to get a, a minimum viable snowball rolling, a critical mass in order for it to work. So maybe they can overcome uh, the critical mass issue and become popular one day, but whatever. I mean, Reddit works fine now and other forums work fine now. So I maybe one day it'll be great right now. They're not, is this to be expected with any new thing? Are you really all in Richard? Yeah. Yep. But I mean, I have cool stuff too. So I mean, in theory I could sell all my cool stuff but it's nice having cool stuff, you know? You can, you're only alive for so long. And if you buy cool stuff that you can resell for the same money or more, it's like, it's, it's pretty cool. You can answer questions. If you're a mod in my chat, answer all the questions you want, dude. I don't have a monopoly on answers. Answer away, you guys are smart. I'm probably missing a fair amount of these questions as well due to time constraints. So you don't think BTC will drop because of Bitcoin 2X and Bitcoin Gold. Why would it drop when both of those things only add value to Bitcoin holders? So you listed two things, B2X and Bitcoin Gold, both add value to current Bitcoin holders. If you don't hold Bitcoin, you don't get any value from those two things. So it's really obvious if you want, if you like Bitcoin Gold and you like uh, Bitcoin 2X, you're only going to get those values if you have Bitcoin now or, you know, within 30 days of now. So bring it on. Airdrops, forks, everything you want that's got replay protection that's not contentious, Richard Hart approves. All right. Uh, uh, free stuff. I like it. If I had to invest in a coin other than BTC, what would I choose? I would choose my token, but it doesn't exist yet. And I think the technology behind Byteball is really, really cool. However, as you can see, having really, really cool technology, it's not enough. So if you if you check out Byteball, if you wanna see smart contracts with oracles, with declarative logic that a normal human could write, with uh, no block size limits, with no miners, and a, a good UI that works on every device, that's a lot of really cool stuff. And a ton, well, they've got an order book chat bot where you can trade byte ball to Bitcoin in the wallet. That's awesome. That's all so good. You can do flight contract insurance. If your flight's late, you can get paid. If it's canceled, you can get paid. Like it's so good and ahead of so many other things, but the price, it's extremely, extremely low. And I guess there's some counterparty risk in that, you know, their dev team is like mostly one guy, I think. So if you want to look at cool tech, I think Byteball is cool tech. I hear the stampede coming, BC Joey says, and that's in reference to Mark Mike Novogratz saying that he knows his Wall Street homies are coming too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's funny when you watch television and you see people doing interviews and they have this kind of shocked look like, because you know they shorted Bitcoin or they're long Ethereum and they're watching it dump. And even though you're long Ethereum and it's dumping and you know Bitcoin's better, you're on TV and you're like, oh, I have to choose one. Uh, I, I choose Bitcoin, Bitcoin's the best, but you know that dude's losing money on his Ethereum. You know it, you can see it in his face. I call it shorter face. You can tell when someone made the wrong market call and they're on their TV interview, sweating. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's blockchain space, great blockchain. Uh, oh God, why did I sell? Oh, why did I sell? <laughs> oh man. One day you'll probably see me on those TV interviews, and I hope you're much kinder to me than than I am to those guys. <laughs> uh, hilarious. I tried to prevent this bubble. Well, not a bubble. Sorry, man. It's just technological adoption. This is what it looks like to make a new currency from nothing. 
the price has to go from nothing to lots and lots and lots in order to make it useful. And someone has got to move it there. And that someone is us. And we reap reward for doing that. It's good. It's honest. It's wholesome. And it's unavoidable. I like it. I like it a lot. In case it's not clear, you should buy Bitcoin. And you should have bought it a long time ago. But just like planting a tree, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time, today. Traded 2K of silver to BTC. Good stuff. Do I see BTC dropping lower than 5K after the fork? No. Wall Street's coming, dude. 20K Christmas. Don't worry about these little low numbers. They've only got four digits. Pound that like button. You guys love pounding things. It's very masculine. <laughs> uh, good thing they didn't quote you on troll message. I don't even. I don't even know. I I do send some interesting messages. Why is it that every single YouTuber that talks about crypto has to mention I am not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice? Because stupid people will do stupid things and lose their life savings and they will look for someone to point at that's not themselves. And they will point at you and they'll go, you told me to do this and you're why I lost all my money. Give me your money now. And then, depending on where you live, maybe some court's like, yeah, yeah, give him your money. So if you prefer that stupid people don't try and get your money, it's nice to just include, do your own research, not a financial advisor. Then when they do stupid things, they have personal responsibility instead of trying to make me responsible for their idiocy, right? Imagine if everyone blamed me for not telling them to buy Bitcoin hard enough and then blamed me for the money they didn't make. Richard, if you would have told me to buy Bitcoin harder, I would have made a million dollars and I didn't. So now I need your million dollars. In a litigious society, these are the problems that you have to deal with. I'm okay with it. I don't have to say that stuff, but it's just, I think it's better, you know? It makes people more responsible for their own choices, and it's usually a good thing. You know, if you're putting your life savings on the line, shouldn't you be responsible for if that works out well or not? Not a guy in a silk shirt, fake silk. Um... Finally available during a live chat. Shout out to the Bitcoin top hat guy. Thank you, sir. Mr. B Smith 113. Green candles, lol. Yeah, everyone wants me to change these to green. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe for Christmas. We'll see. Time frames for my token release. 30 to 60 days is what I say. But I think I've been saying that for 30 to 60 days. So Bitcoin, if you could get a little more boring a little quicker. I'm handing off more things to my co-founder and, and some of the devs that we're working with. So those guys uh, have time. And thus, uh, I think things will start going a lot quicker soon. I mean, we've got a lot of people reaching out that want to work with us. And I'm happy to put them on board. So it's accelerating. What can inflate a multi-month year bear market for BTC? Nuclear holocaust, global pandemic virus, uh, a black hole opening up in the center of our planet and swallowing it. Short of that, I don't see any kind of bear market happening for Bitcoin anytime soon. King Richard, can you give us your synopsis on what atomic swaps will mean for the Lightning Network related coins? Atomic swaps just give you a less trusted... A, so if I say I'm going to give you a thing and you're going to trade me for the other thing, there's a chance that one of us does their part and the other side doesn't do theirs. And so an atomic swap just basically mechanizes and, and does the logic more automatically where this gets traded for that and there's no fuckery. It just works, right? That's all an atomic swap is. So the ability to transact from one thing into another thing more easily, I think adds value to the entire ecosystem. You know, it's just like a food court at the mall. You know, these altcoins, uh, they may be terrible. However, they're just like other restaurants at the food court. And the more restaurants that are at your food court, the better everyone does. It's not, it's not really competition, it just looks like competition. So the more altcoins there are, the better Bitcoin really does, but they look like competition. So it's, it's, it's interesting, you know? Like the altcoins help Bitcoin, but Bitcoin doesn't really help the altcoins. It's kind of like a diode. It's, it's interesting.
You're looking fit. Yeah, I've, uh, except for, pretty sure I hit my, yeah, I hit my workout yesterday too. I'm gonna do my workout today. I haven't missed a workout in 21 days. I think this will be day 22 or 23. Just uh, bench, deadlift, chin-ups every single day. I love it, never sore. Strength keeps going up, takes no time. How could you get better? Strength keeps going up, takes no time, never sore. It's like free gains, you know, I, I love it. And I appreciate you guys on Twitter holding me to account because you know, if all you do is chill and you know, play around on the internet, you don't really have to look like a supermodel. It's nice, but it's not mandatory. So having a public uh, persona kind of helps you want to hold yourself to a higher standard because you know there's eyes on you. So it's much better to be fit than not fit. Do I believe BT3, do I believe BTC going through the 6K? Yes, I do. You have to go through 6K to get to 20K, right? Fine hold, Richard speaking facts. We got a new Bitcoin Jesus. Thank you, sir. I'm on the edge to go all in with my savings, scared that something will happen and they'll screw up. It's gonna happen. The worst thing that's ever happened within the last few years is the price could go down to 66% drop. And then if you hold it a couple of years, you're golden again. So if you can like if if you can withstand a two year downturn, nothing matters. It's all good. Like so, I'm you know, and that the chances of that happening are impossible. Like it's just it's such a good time to get in. Someone else is very happy about the Bitcoin price. <laughs> hey. I'm on stream. You got to tell me later. Tell me later, I'll, I'll be done in a minute. I'll be done in 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, on down the list. When can I buy into the CFD? No idea. I mean, 30 to 60 days. I mean, look, I. I'm not even gonna talk about details. Wait till the PDF's out, read the PDF. I'm not suggesting anyone buy anything except Bitcoin. Wait for the PDF, 30 to 60. Closer to 30 for the PDF. I mean, look, I could, I could work hard and probably bang something cool out tonight if the price would be less exciting. <clears throat> Richard Hart confirmed millionaire. <laughs> All right. You're still eating at the same restaurants. It's like, you're still watching the same TV shows, still watching the same TV, you still got the same computer. I mean, unless you like uh, real estate and yachts, you don't really need that much money, to tell you the truth. And I don't like yachts, so. Man, you guys have asked a lot of questions here. My goodness. <laughs> God, you get, it's like you're really hitting the questions home here. I keep paging up and just all new questions. Like I'm at the very top and I haven't seen these questions. So I know I've missed everything that's above this top. Great interface, uh, YouTube, you know? So hard to store that extra, like, 20 kilobyte of text. Yeah, I can't argue about a free service, I guess. Why hasn't Wall Street bought Bitcoin yet? Well, you know, little individuals have. However, big funds haven't because they're not allowed to until the futures and the ETFs come online, which is so soon. After 20K, do I see a typical pullback? We gotta, we gotta see what, what's the, you know, look, 
two months in crypto time is a lot of time. So ask me that question seven days before 20K and I'll tell you with better certainty. I can't, I can't talk about Poldax so far out. Am I Satoshi? No. That dude's smarter than me in the areas that you would care about. Well, if you want to do personal development, I'm useful. If you want to uh, do business, I'm useful. If you want to see some funny looking clothes and the occasional funny joke, I'm useful. But if you want to make a new computer science breakthrough, Satoshi's much better than I am. Well, Unless he's dead, and then I guess I'm better by default. Unless you're hungry and you're a worm or something. Um, thoughts on Ledger X. Will it start the Wall Street buy-in? Yes and yes. And that was only one question, so yes. Two questions, but yes wasn't a good answer to the first one. I think Ledger X is going to do what you say it will in your question. Wall Street, Moon... Yep. It's actually more than Wall Street, by the way. Ledger X is going to allow family offices and people with $10 million, and in some cases $5 million, to buy in with less counterparty risk at a good price with great regulatory certainty. So, I mean, Ledger X is actually going to be bringing more to the table than just Wall Street, which is pretty cool. I think that'll be the first tweet that I send after, after this stream. I'm trying to lock it in my head. If you don't see me tweet about it within like 30 minutes, tweet me and remind me. Ledger X is bringing more than Wall Street. It's going to be the headline there. Richard is a boss. Thank you, sir. Just trying to make everyone's lives better. That's that's the game here. The better your guys' lives are, the better my life's going to be. When your cup floweth over, it's real easy to fill up other people's cups. What's Bitcoin's main vulnerabilities? Go on the wiki. If you search Bitcoin vulnerabilities, the Bitcoin wiki will be up in the first one to three links. Just click it. Sybil attack, you know, DDoS, just normal, anything that lives on the internet stuff, pretty much. Uh, do I expect Ethereum to die? No, it's not going to die. It's just going to become extremely less valuable in USD terms and in Bitcoin terms. It's definitely not going to die. It's just going to be worth a lot less financially. I mean, it'll have more utility as people continue to improve it. And some things are legitimate improvements. However, you know, most people that speculate only really care about the price. Add squats, so you'll have chicken legs. You use your legs a little bit on the deadlifts. You're not going to have chicken legs, that's for sure. Um, I don't like squats. I know how to do them. I've got the knee wraps. I know how to get the posture right. I can ask to grass, no problem. I don't like them and my knees don't like them. So I'd rather just stick with the deadlifts. I'm still pretty quick. So I used to do squats. I'm just not doing them now. I'm sticking with deadlifts. You need to get sore if you want to have gains. See, that shit's not accurate. It's not accurate at all, right? Sore means that you're not used to the volume you're doing or you're doing too much volume. Or you're doing a program which, so I'm doing the same amount of volume, right? So like if I did a push pull legs day, like a PPL or a, like, if I did any of the common strong list five by five, rip to three by 12, et cetera, et cetera, you know, you're going to lift really hard one day and be really sore the next day. And I just take that one day and I spread it out over seven days instead. So I'm doing the same volume, maybe a little bit more. And I'm just less sore because I get to heal every night instead of just mostly one night and then less past that. It works. I mean, I've got the graphs to show it. I mean, I could show you the last time I did this for four months. I put on, you know, five pounds a week in the bench, and that's as good as you're going to get. I'm, if you're normal human, not on gear, steroids, uh, you know, if I can get the same gains that you get with any other program with less time and never sore, and the fact that you do it every day means you're less likely to stop doing it, right? Because if you're, if you're a day off and then, oh, that becomes more days off. So it, it's my, it's about, I, I invented it. I'm sure someone else invented it before me, but I, I was unaware of it. It doesn't even have a name, but like this system of 
full compound workouts every single day. Uh, it was so good. I like it very much. Try it and then see how it works for you. Please post a picture of you in your PE kit. I guess that means physical education, like my workout kit. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I could do that. scrolling if you trade part of the reason I like bitmax for an exchange is that you can have higher leverage which means you can leave less money on the exchange at risk in case magically they fail um, so that's kind of cool you know the more money you have in your personal control that you have the keys for that's really your money uh, unless you're a retard and you're gonna lose your keys and then you'd be better off if someone took care of it Mm. Richard, can you do a video with a monocle and a snifter of cognac? Sniffer. I do have cognac. I do have a sniffer. Uh, I don't have a monocle. I need to get a monocle. If you guys want to send me links to the best monocles, I would be okay with that. Yeah, I would, and I'd wear the top hat too. I think it would be legit. So send me monocle links. If you want to hear why CSW isn't Satoshi, go to my Medium. I have a Medium, and I wrote an article about it, and read the article. So it's in the links here. Click my Medium, click my Stories, find the one that talks about Satoshi, and you'll understand what's going on with that. How can we claim our Bitcoin gold? It's just a fork, so just own Bitcoin and have the private keys and everything else should take care of itself. You can figure it all out later. As long as you own your private keys on the day that they do their snapshot or fork or whatever, you're fine. Do I have a suggestion for entry into BTC? Yeah, get in now. Buy with cash or sell something for it or buy it from local Bitcoins or use my link on my Twitter at the top. You know, click my Twitter. It's like a pinned post. Use that link, and then you can deposit Bitcoin and get leverage on it. Just be careful, because it amplifies your gains, amplifies your losses. So, you know, don't slide that leverage all the way to the right. You can go up to 100x. Don't do that. Keep it low. You know, or it's up to you. You want more risk, more reward, or less risk, less reward? It's up to you. All right, chat, you guys have been great. I am going to try and uh, do good things for the ecosystem by hopping on Twitter, making sure I'm aware, know what's going on, uh, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you check out the links. I got a book you can check out. I got, you know, a 120-page token thing you can read about. A lot of cool stuff going on. <laughs>